Now, there will come a time when you need to create translations, but also inject variables into them. And obviously, this is made really easy with Laravel. Let's look at passing some data from our root to our view and then including these within the translations. So we've got our view open here. Let's head over to our roots and use with. And I'm going to say username and set this to Alex. So we can now access this variable in here like this. So over to our translations file, we'll open the English version here and we'll just focus on working with the English, not the German in this case. I'm just going to use this as a placeholder. So I'm using a colon and then the name of the variable that I want to target. Now what I can do here is go back to here, supply an array and choose which I want to replace. In this case, we've got username being passed from the roots. Let's just switch this back to trans as well to keep things nice and short. So we're translating the hello greeting. And at the moment, we're set to the default en locale. We're passing in an array of values we want to replace. This is the name of the placeholder, which will replace this with the value here. So let's take a look at this. When I refresh, you can see it says, hello, Alex. Let's pass another variable down to our view. So we'll replace this with an array. We'll pass the username in. And we'll also pass the weather. So now that we've done that, we have access to both of these in here. So in greetings, all we need to do is say, hello, username, it is weather today. So now inside of home.blade.php, we can pass in weather to this translation and the weather that we've passed down to the view. So when I refresh now, you see that's also included in our translation. Now, this is really useful for longer sentences where you might need to pop in unique URLs as well. So for example, if you're sending out an email with I don't know, an activation link or a, for a user or something, it saves you having to break your translations up into very small pieces, which is obviously going to be confusing and often wouldn't make sense.